Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy 3 for the Nintendo Famicom. Last episode, our four mice heroes took Sid back home to Kanan, and they also helped his wife out. Now, uh, now it's time for them to head up this mountain, but... Huh, there's some dragon who makes his home on the mountain. Uh-oh. This could be a problem. But they're gonna have to head up this mountain because, uh, they were told that, uh... Uh, Desh, uh, he's some traveler, uh... He went up to this mountain, hasn't come back, so he's probably in trouble. We also learned that uh, Desh has the mini spell, which we need to get to the gnome village. Uh, one of the villagers mentioned something about a gnome village in the forest to the south. So, we gotta go rescue Desh and uh, try to get that uh, mini spell so that we can go visit uh, the gnomes. I don't know why mice need to get any tinier, but, well, they have to, so... Now, uh, all the enemies here are, uh, bird enemies, they'll be weak, uh, well, not, they're flying enemies. Uh, most are birds, but there's one that's not a bird. Uh, but they're all flying enemies, so they will be weak to wind. We will pick up the arrow spell, which is a white magic spell, uh, we were told this in Kanan. Uh, it's a white magic wind spell that allows the, uh, white mage to have some offensive power. So, we'll get it in one of the treasure chests here. So, this is a small little dungeon, uh... So, but, it could be, uh, it might be a little taxing, because, uh, two of the monsters are kind of rare. We got these Helldiver Eagles, they were kind of annoying back in, uh, Final Fantasy 2. We ran into them in the, uh, Dreadnought. So they were like a, uh, end of the third of the game, uh, type enemy, so, you know, kind of annoying, they hit pretty hard, and... They're pretty agile for that uh, point in the game, so they tended to go before our characters. But they're not, they're much, much easier uh, here, so... Which is good. Get uh, some uh, use out of our new thunder spell there. Uh, yeah, now, speaking of getting uh, used to magic, uh, we're going to be changing uh, Fang and Tupelo. We're going to be changing their classes a little bit later on in this episode. Uh, they'll be coming the, the they'll become Black Mages. So it's the last Wind Crystal job that we uh, didn't use yet. Uh, like the White Mage, it gets 12 points for using magic, uh, four points for fighting, and four points for using an item. So you want to be casting as much magic as you could with them. So. Alright, there's the last treasure chest up there, uh, to the upper left. Let me grab two here on the right, though, first. Gold needles, that removes the petrification status. There's a petrification status, and there's a slow petrification status. Uh, basically, the slow petrification status, it works that, uh, basically, if you take, like, three hits, uh, it'll turn you into stone. It doesn't do it right away, so, uh, that's gonna be pretty good, uh, later on on our characters. Because uh, eventually uh, we'll get some weapons that uh, can cast uh, spells or have uh, a secondary effect of them to them, sort of like how some of the weapons in Final Fantasy uh, 2 did. So there's another gold needle. And now we have uh, two more enemies. We're just going to farm here real quick. Just wander around so we get uh, all the bestiary enemies in here. These, uh, these monsters here are uh, basically only here. So most areas have about uh, four to six unique monsters in them. So this may become a, a common theme, through, uh, a common thing throughout this playthrough where you have to uh, stay around, walk around a little bit in the dungeon to get all the monsters. And the game is pretty good about like, uh, you know, separating monsters. Alright, here's our last two uh, monsters in this area. The rust bird there is the uh, purple bird on the far left. And then we have uh, fireflies that kind of look like uh, manta rays. Now, the uh, interesting thing about the fireflies is they, uh, they are also weak to uh, ice. So they have two weaknesses, wind and ice. So that's why I have uh, Tanguini there casting the blizzard spell. Luckily, the rust bird uh, doesn't rust out our items. I think there's a, there's a what's it called? Rust beasts in uh, 
Dungeons and Dragons. We saw something interesting there. Uh, unlike uh, physical attacks that retarget themselves as their target is defeated, uh, you notice Tanguini passed, cast Blizzard on the the bottom uh, row Firefly, but it was defeated before she cast her spell, uh, so it didn't auto-target. Yeah, magic doesn't auto-target. Uh, we auto target. That's maybe just maybe that's because of uh, with cure. I guess they figured you know if you uh, try to cast cure, uh, you know, on a character and then they got knocked out, it would be too easy if it retargeted to one of your other characters. So that dragon came back, picked us up, and dropped us in this little nest. We got some baby dragons who appear to be very hungry. There's also something moving around in the hay over here edge of the nest. Huh. Didn't expect to see anyone else here. You got captured too? Hmm? Who are you? Oh, I'm Dash. I'm Fang. To be honest, I can't remember anything except my name. But I know that there's something I've got to do, but I'm not sure what. There's Dash. He looks like he has the sprite of the knight from the first game. The class chain. The dragon is back. Hide! And we're going to get into a battle here with Bahamut, the King of Dragons, but you can't win this battle. Uh, so basically just do what Desh says. We're no match, just run. So I think he has like 65,000 hit points, which is the max amount of hit points an enemy can have. And uh, I think he regenerates uh, to full hit points every uh, round. So yeah, just run. And that'll trigger the next cutscene. It'll get us off this mountain. Phew, that was close. Let's escape quick. Yeah. Later on, though, we will actually end up fighting uh, Bahamut. He has an optional summon later on. Try this. It'll teach you how to use mini. I'm unable to use it, but maybe you can. Can I join y'all? Um, sure, I guess. Sounds good, partners. So, yes, we are going to get the mini spell now. White magic spell. That is uh, mainly used for getting through, like, dungeons. So, I mentioned in a previous episode that, uh... There's going to be these little dungeons that we have to uh, change our status to use. So here might be a good place to uh, cast the mini spell on everybody. Uh, because we're going in here and we're going to... Uh, uh, whatchamacallit... Uh, get some status... Uh, well, not get our status, but uh, get our hit points and magic points back. So yeah. So left it does the hit points, the magic points, the top revives, and the right gives uh, restores your status. So if you mini yourself, it would turn your back. But that little gnome there, he basically said that, you know, hey, there's a village to the south. Back in Canada, I heard there's a gnome village around here. Let's go mini to find it. Yeah, status is like I said, that would be like the, the if someone was petrified or the no, or the uh, minied or toaded. So uh, I didn't cast mini here though because uh, just in case I didn't get into a bat into a battle. So yeah, so we're walking around here. We can't get into the gnome village. We have to cast mini. So if you cast mini, now you want to make sure you cast it on everybody. So go to the baby move, press the right button on the control pad, and then that'll allow you to be mini, and you can walk into the gnome village. Toes us. So so talk with the. Uh, all the gnomes here. There's something different about you guys. Yeah, because we're not real gnomes. We're just shrunken little mice. Now, the little houses that have doors in them, you can enter them. So we'll be doing that to get some treasure. I'm a gnome. This is my home. And, uh, buy some things. There's cute fairies in the living woods. Dr. Shelko knows where the tunnel leads to Mickroll Basin is. Dr. Shelko's fallen ill. He's the only doctor in town. How can we cure him? Well, it's gonna fall to us again. So let's buy another uh, uh, two thunder spells. Because, uh, uh, like I said, we're gonna transform uh, Fang and uh, Tupelo into black mages. We're gonna have to sell a few things to uh, get that, that other, uh, uh, the rest of the gold that we need, so. Get rid of all those arrows. I have to sell some more stuff then eventually later too to uh, uh, afford the inn. Because we need to, uh, when we change our characters to the black mages, they don't get their uh, spell charges back. 
well, they don't get any spell charges. So, once they're in the uh, Black Mage uh, class, then we'll, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, stop at the end. The reason we have to change to Black Mage here is because when we're mini, uh, well, Desh will tell us, uh, but basically when we're mini, we uh, can't fight. We don't lose the, we don't run out the fight command. Well, we have the fight command, but you won't be able to do any damage. Also, when you're mini, uh, your defense uh, goes down to, to one. Doesn't matter what equipment you have. Uh, so we're gonna want to put everybody in the back row to double their defense. Not a fan of being mini. We can't use swords. We can only fight monsters with magic. Yeah, your attack and defense both go down to uh, one. So make use of the t titles the crystal gave you. Now would be a good time to be make three black mages. Well, we ain't gonna have three black mages. We're just gonna have the two uh, because the red mage can function as our third uh, black mage. So there's the inn. Cost uh, six eighty gil, so we're gonna have to sell something to make that up. Like I said, we need our spell charges. Let's go over to this house here real quick. Eat gnome bread, and then you'll see the world. Have you tried gnome bread? It has the same effect as the sight spell. This guy sells some gnome bread. Basically, that zooms you out, uh, so you can see a part of the world map. You can see more of the world map, and. Uh, so if you, uh, you know, need to find your destination, it gives you a better idea of, you know, your surroundings. So let's go heal up at the inn here. Get, uh, Fang and Tupelo their, uh, magic points. And then we're going to head to the northwest corner of the village, where, uh, the doctor's house is. Apparently he knows a secret passage. So let's head up to that house. And there's going to be items on these bookshelves, so these uh, shelves. So cure, that's the second level uh, cure spell. So we'll give that to a uh, white mage. And we'll also give uh, her the uh, flame staff. That's a staff that can basically like a uh, you know, fire elemental. I uh, can use a fire spell, so maybe Moon now will have some uh, offense besides the besides the uh, arrow spell. And you can cast that spell by uh, basically using the item command in uh, battle, uh, and then selecting that item. Ugh, antidote, please! So press the B button, select an antidote. Ah, much better, it's probably something I ate. You helped a lot! No problem, Doc. I guess he couldn't get an antidote because uh, that uh, their shop only sells the gnome bread. Maybe he ate too much gnome bread. Got a belly ache. Thanks for helping me. The stairs at the end of the passage lead to the Moralka Basin. It also will lead to some treasure. Let's head on down. Grab the treasure, mithril bracer, and a mithril bod rods we can give to the black mage, but there's no point because we won't be using the attack uh, command with them. Because we're all here in the mini uh, status. So we're going to have to rely on magic, just like Desh, Desh said. So There's uh, two different enemies in here. We got these dog faces, and then we're going to have uh, leprechauns. Which I guess are appropriate because leprechauns are tiny and they like lucky charms. Just The funny thing is, like, uh, I don't eat Lucky Charms anymore because I don't do marshmallows because uh, I'm a vegetarian. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they just keep adding like more marshmallows to, to that. Uh, I think when I was growing up, there was only five marshmallows, five types. Uh, green clovers, uh, blue diamonds, uh, orange horseshoes, green clovers, I think was it. And then they added, you know, red balloons and then rainbows and always adding new, uh, uh, things. I wonder if they, I, I might be confused and I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe there's, uh, I don't really look at the cereals much, uh, uh, now. That was my favorite aisle as a kid, though, going through the cereal aisle. Uh, but, uh, did they do a all marshmallow, uh, version of, uh, Lucky Charms? I know, like, Captain Crunch does the, the sometimes the, uh, Oops All Berries, uh, version of Captain Crunch. 
But that doesn't matter, I guess, because, you know, the berries and the little things that are in Captain Crunch are basically the same. They're just like a, a, a corn, uh, like, crisp, basically. Uh, so they're not, uh, it's not that much different, uh, the regular piece of cereal from the berries, uh, pieces of the cereal. Just the berries have a little bit of an extra, a sweeter flavor to them. But I think that would be really gross if it was, like, all marshmallows, but... I don't know, there's some gross cereals out there. Uh, I remember one time my mom, when I was younger, got uh, to try the new the Reese's peanut butter cereal. Ugh, that, was, that was terrible. Yeah. I'm not a fan of chocolate, though, so... I like peanut butter, though. So, so is my dog Spartacus! Yep. He, whenever I eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, he, uh, he looks at me and he wants some. And I usually give him a piece, so... never get it where I can get, uh, the peanut butter and jelly and bread to all, like, uh, be finished at the same time. I either have too much bread or too much peanut butter or too much jelly. It never works out, so. It's, uh, it's weird, but. Oh, well. Just have to go to the store and get more. But I don't have to go grocery shopping anytime soon, luckily. Got a whole bunch of oatmeal to eat up with, uh, get the big tub of oats and mix it up with fruit. Mix a long bunch of meals. So, it's kind of healthy too, so. Better than the prepackaged oatmeal that has, uh, all the sugar in it. And then, like, dried fruit pieces. And you just get fresh fruit, chop it up. There you go. Well, we met all the enemies in here, so we can just head out here. Now, we could, um... Uh, we should probably uh, unmini ourselves here. I just got a little lazy. Uh, we're gonna have to remini ourselves again uh, for the, the next dungeon. But uh, right here we have uh, a little town coming up in here. So I figured out I, I might as well change back so I can see what you can see what the Black Wizard looks like. Yep, same. She has the same sprite as uh, from Final Fantasy One. Uh, so we had back then we had Milo as our Black Mage. But uh, what kind of town is in this cave uh, ahead? Find out in our next episode. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.